Hi, this is Dr. Don. You will be doing a lot of work in my stat lab this term, so it's important to get to know it well. Recall you just navigate to www.mystatlab.com and sign in. You should see a screen that looks like this. Click on the Business 233 course. This is the welcome screen you will see every time you enter my stat lab. Be sure to run the browser check the first time and there's a link here for you to do that. Then take a tour. Right now the link to the orientation exercises is not functional but be sure to click on the link on how to answer enter answers using the Math Excel player tour. It's very important. When you click on the tour link you will see this screen that has six videos that are roughly around three minutes each that are very useful. But the ones that I've highlighted here in pink enter the answers, the basics, do homework, do tests and quizzes, and how to enter math symbols to a lesser degree. Those four I would, would highly, highly recommend that you, you watch. If you want to use a touch screen and the on-screen keyboard, watch that one. We don't plot graphs the way that Pearson shows here, and we don't plot that many graphs anyway, so you don't really need to watch that video. This is a possibly, these other ones in pink, definitely watch those videos. When you click on the Homework tab, you should see a page that looks something like this every time you're in my stat lab. Notice that although we're in the Homework tab, we have some drop-down menus here, and if we click on that one, you can go to the quizzes and tests that way as well. You can also select which chapter that you're interested in, from the orientation all the way through the 11 chapters in the book, and you can choose how many of the assignments are showing. I would caution you not to get alarmed here about the apparent amount of work that you have to do here. For any given module, any given week in an eight-week term, it will list the assignments that are due that week. And here we've got the homework assignments uh, for section 1.1, section 1.2, section 1.3, and so forth. We also have a list of videos there that you can click on to play. I would call to your attention the little green arrow there. If you see that by an item, that means you've got to score at least 70%. It, it's a prerequisite on the prior item before you can move to that item. And the way the course is set up now, you must watch the videos before you can move on to the following homework assignment. I'm going to scroll down here toward the bottom and you see all of a sudden that after section 2.5 we just have videos and the reason for that is that each of the modules has a time limit on it. The section 3, the, the module that concludes chapter 3, is not open yet so you do not see those homework assignments there. Once that section has become open you will have all of the assignments visible there. If we look at the quizzes, you'll see here we just have two quizzes listed. It only shows the quizzes that you have to complete for that given week. The other quizzes uh, are not shown because they are not open yet. While we're on the quiz tab, I wanted to call your attention to some things that you will, you will definitely see and you may choose to do. The things up here are required, and that's what you, you see in your blackboard on the learning assignments and assessment page, the things that are required, the things that you're graded on. Down here at the bottom, you have some pre-test and review quizzes and post-test. These things can be helpful, but they're not required. You're not required to do these. If you have time and if you need extra work, I would recommend doing them. But for a lot of you who are going to be really pressured 
for time in this eight week term or in an eight week term. These you need to consider to be optional. They're helpful, but not required. I'm back on the the homework tab because I wanted to show you something that's related to that optional work. You do need to do the uh, chapter zero homework. That's the introduction to get you comfortable working in the MyStat lab environment. And you can see up there that you've got to score at least 70% before you can go to the next thing, which is the 1.1 video. And you'll see that in, in everything here. This is, in that sense, is not optional. It's not graded. And as you take it, it will score you. And then based on questions you miss, it will recommend things that you need to study. It links to something called a study plan. And in here, it will give you more practice based on how you score on the practice quizzes and other quizzes. It will continually build the study plan. I just want to point out to you that this is here. Again, it's not mandatory that you do any of the study plan work. This is all helpful stuff. And if you need practice, I would recommend using it if you have time. But it's not mandatory. It's not graded. It doesn't affect your grades directly. Although, again, the practice that the study plan will recommend could be very helpful to you. It will, it will, it's smart. And when you miss this topic, it will add it to things that you need to, to review. So be aware that the study plan is there and use it if you want to. This is the gradebook tab. As you complete items, they will show up here and show you your scores. And that's helpful to know. The next tab is the chapter contents. This is another way to get material. I mentioned in the uh, Module Zero that you don't have to buy a textbook, paper textbook. You can use the online textbook here. And this is one way that you can access that online textbook. It's very helpful. Everything in here is, is very helpful. I'm going to go back to the main menu again. We've got a tab called Tools for Success. And this is a lot of good information. It's not mandatory, but it, it's some good information here. Particularly, these Stat Talk videos are, are really well done and very interesting. I would recommend them. The applets we have linked in your Blackboard course tell you which ones you need to do. Down here, we've got Stat Crunch, which uh, we mentioned. And here's some Stat Crunch videos that if you uh, want to work with them. So be aware of the tools for success. There's another link to Stat Crunch. There's a multimedia library where you can, again, search for information that will be helpful based on chapters. Then you can select either more applets, more lectures, some animations, more, more information. Again, this is all voluntary. It's not mandatory. It's very helpful information. So that's a quick overview of my stat lab. Not as quick as I had hoped but it covers all the bases. I hope you will explore the things that I mentioned and will learn to really enjoy working in my stat lab.